of the food chain, with a rat tail, king's annotation, covered at the trap now, but the rest of the is a rap and Yo guys, what is going on Timpus here and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a really nice looking pixel art YouTube banner. I've never done a tutorial on this before and I'm pretty new to it myself, but I thought I'd show you guys what I've been doing recently. Um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. So, you want to open up a YouTube banner template first. Um, so I've got one open and you want to go to edit um, go down to oh no image sorry and then canvas size and you want to make sure this is on pixels and then you want to take away a zero from each one of these and this is going to make it smaller so that you can actually do pixel art I'm going to proceed and then you can zoom in so it's going to be really small so you can do all the pixels and stuff um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just going to change the background colour just so we can see what we're doing for a second. <clears throat> Alt backspace to fill in colour. Um, so then, what we want to do is set up this pixel art workspace. So you want to be using a pencil tool rather than a brush. So that's just, so when you actually paint things, it's solid. If you do it with a brush then you'll get like a faded effect and it just wouldn't look good so you need to do it with a pencil as you can see it's right there um, so if you go to view um, and then show and then go to grid you get this grid right here and some people do like this however I don't really like it so I'm just gonna leave it like that um, but also when you go to show grid you want to go to edit go down to preferences then go to guides, grid and slices um, and then on the this part here you want to make sure that's set to pixels so that the grid is every single pixel so then that, yeah that's pretty much it um, and yeah you're ready to start um, doing pixel art uh, what I also need to tell you guys is if you want to quickly fill in a shape uh, with a colour all you've got to do is create a shape that you want to fill in make sure it's joined together um, and you want to make sure that um, anti Elias is unchecked so that when you click on it it will fill it in if not it will fill the whole canvas in and yeah that is pretty much it you're ready to get started with this um, I also kind of it like speeds up the process if you do know the uh, keyboard shortcuts for each one so if you press B that will get to the pencil tool if you press G that will go to the fill tool those are the two main ones um, and also when you zoomed in crop quite a bit if you press the H to bring up the hand so you can move around the canvas very easily so B, G and H is very handy to know um, and I'll just show you guys quickly what I've been working on right here um, it's just some clouds and stuff this is actually my first pixel art design that I've done but I've done one before this is the, well this is my second one and it's going really well uh, I'm not going to show you like how to make a full YouTube banner I'm just going to show you guys simple stuff like um, so I've got clouds going on here so this would be really nice for a YouTube banner you could have your logo right in the middle there um, or some text so I'm going to show you guys how to make some text right now um, so if you just zoom in you've got the brush right here uh, well the pencil um, and if you have the grid on it'll be easier for you guys who are new to it but I'm just gonna stick stick like this so I'm gonna choose um, like a blue color maybe something like that uh, if you want to get the rulers as well you can do if you press ctrl R and then drag from the side and you can see right there um, so I'm just going to type uh, right timpers. It's really easy, something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, pick, with pixel art, not all the pixels are always in the right place, which is a really good effect. So you might want something like this. It's really easy, and when you are making pixel art. It's good to get some different colours on what you're ever, whatever you're making. Like, you want to make sure it's got some sort of gradient to it. So if you see my clouds right there, you can see. Oh, I pressed some at them. 
Um, yeah, you can see they've all got like different shades all over it because with the pencil tool you can't actually create a blend from one colour to another. You've got to do it by using blocks of different colours. So I've got a white area, then I've got a grey area, then a darker grey and it fades into a blue. Um, so that's kind of what you want to do when you are making um, pixel art. So yeah, I'm just like messing about here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is the style that I'm going for. Nothing perfect right here. It's just freehand. Maybe not that. Like so. You guys get the idea. You can follow along. You can pause it at any point as well if you are not sure what's going on. So yeah, it's a bit slanted there. You can always uh, erase it with the rubber. But I also need to tell you one more thing. Once I've done this. Um, yeah, so when you go to the eraser tool, you want to make sure the mode is on pencil. Because if it's on brush, then it will fade away like a brush, as you can see right there. Sometimes that's the effect you want to go for. Because it looks like it's faded. Well, it could look like it's faded into the clouds and stuff. Sorry if you can hear something in the background. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I've got some builders right here. But yeah, if you get the eraser tool, it fades. I quite like that effect, to be honest. It kind of fades it. But if you actually want to get rid of some of the pixels, then you want to make sure that it's set to pencil. Because as you can see, if I just make... If you click, it gets rid of weight gets rid of that pixel so maybe I want to get rid of a few of them maybe I just want to get rid of that bottom part there so yeah that's a really cool pixelated effect and yeah I, I like that array like eraser part um, and yeah I'm just gonna add another layer now and you can make it look even better by choosing a different color maybe go into a lighter blue and in certain parts just add a little part like this it looks really nice so I'm just going to do it to the right side of each text I don't want to drag this on for you guys, but you get the idea how to make pixel art. I've showed you how to set it up. It's very simple. Um, you want to make sure you're using a pencil. Make sure you know the, the keyboard shortcuts. It's very handy. Don't know what's going on there. But yeah, you guys get the idea. And then, just for example, if you want to make a cloud, I'm just going to um, click on this white part right here add a new layer and I don't actually zoom in that much when I'm doing this I like to see what I'm doing so I zoom out all the way so say if I make that as a cloud I press G click to fill it in and there's also a pixel right there um, and then back to B for the brush press I and you can actually choose what color you want on the page so maybe I want this lighter grey over here, press B to go back to the brush and then I'm just gonna fill in another part, create some sort of shadow then G, click, um, and yeah that's what it'll look like, it looks very nice but yeah that's a really cool way how to make pixelated text um, with a YouTube banner and then once I've done this what I'd do is I'd go to file save, open up a new YouTube banner template and just scale it up and then yeah it will be the right size and it'll look very nice. So yeah, if you want to see more in-depth tutorial on how to make pixelated art, then let me know. I could do a logo tutorial. Let me know down below, give a like, um, and yeah, subscribe if you are new. I hope you're having a sick day today and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you.